the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Sounds silly, right? Well, that's because it is. Los Angeles and Anaheim aren't even in the same place at all. They're not even in the same county in California. Anaheim is located within Orange County. Anaheim is the home of Disneyland, the Anaheim Ducks, and the LA Angels. Los Angeles is the home of the Lakers, the Clippers, the Kings, the Dodgers, the Sparks, and several other teams, but not the Los Angeles Angels. Let's break down that name for a second. Los Angeles is Spanish. Los means the. Angeles means angels. Now add those together and the team name becomes the Angels Angels when translated into English. Now add in the of Anaheim. And putting that all together, the team name, when translated into English, becomes the Angels Angels of Anaheim. That's really good stuff, especially considering that there are so many people in the LA and Orange County area that actually speak Spanish too. Ironically, the majority stakeholder of the Angels, Artie Moreno, speaks Spanish. So at some point during the name changing process, Artie really had to say, yup, I want my team to be the Angels Angels. But why do they even have of Anaheim in the team name for so long? If the Angels play in Anaheim, why are they officially called the Los Angeles Angels? Why did they change their name in the first place? If the team really wanted access to the Los Angeles media market, why did they continue to leave the of Anaheim on the end of the team name? I'm going to answer all these questions and more during today's video. To make sense of all of their ridiculous name changing, we need to go into the history of the Angels. Their name has changed quite a few times to reflect the different places they've played and the team names they've had. For the 1961 season, the MLB approved a second franchise for the LA area, which would become the Los Angeles Angels. In their inaugural season, the Angels played their home games at Wrigley Field in Los Angeles. This Wrigley Field had been built for minor league baseball. In fact, the previous iteration of the Los Angeles Angels was a farm team for the Chicago Cubs and had played in LA's Wrigley Field from 1921 to 1956, but was eventually folded into the Dodgers minor league system. In 1962, the Major League Angels moved to Dodger Stadium to play their home games. Dodger Stadium is clearly within the city limits of Los Angeles, so the Angels had a factually accurate team name when their Major League franchise was created and through their first four seasons in LA. The Angels struggled to draw too many people at Dodger Stadium, as the Dodgers were the more established and more popular team in the area, so the Angels owner, Gene Autry, started looking to move the team out of LA and into their own home. After receiving offers from other Orange County cities, Autry settled on Anaheim. At the end of the 1965 campaign, with the Angels getting ready to move to Anaheim for the following season, the team changed its name to the California Angels. Now, they were in California, absolutely, but they were one of three MLB teams to play in California at that time. To be fair, they were the only American League team to play in California at the time, but definitely not the only baseball team playing in California. So I would argue that calling the team the California Angels was a little bit inappropriate. But in 1966, the California Angels began play in the stadium that they still occupy today, Anaheim Stadium. The team spent years playing happily in the stadium, even though they never came close to a World Series title, nor did they ever win an American League pennant, but there was no issue with their stadium, nor the stadium's location. In 1997, Disney decided that buying sports teams would be one of the next things in their quest for world domination and took over a controlling stake in the Angels. Realizing how ridiculous the name California Angels sounded, especially now that by this time there were five MLB teams in California, Disney switched the team name to the Anaheim Angels. This name was also geographically correct. The Angels played in Anaheim, they played in Anaheim Stadium, and they finally won the World Series a few years after the name change. That doesn't sound like a coincidence to me. Now in 2003, Disney decided it was time to move away from the Angels. Disney still held a majority stake in the Mighty Ducks, who played across the street from the Angels, but the Angels were sold to their current majority stakeholder, Artie Moreno. Now, Artie was a big hit early on with Angels fans. He showed he was willing to spend to bring in new talent like Vladimir Guerrero. He slashed the prices of tickets and of beer at Angel Stadium. Too bad that didn't last long. 
In 2005, Artie decided it was time to make a name change. And unfortunately, he settled on the one that we referenced earlier, the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Now, why did he add Los Angeles to the name? The short answer is the money. LA is huge. There are lots of people in LA who own televisions, and the majority of them have cable. Conveniently enough, the Angels games can be found on cable television. In fact, 5 million people in the greater LA area have TVs. So, more people in the LA area watching the Angels play means that the rights to broadcast Angels games are worth even more. In short, more people watching means more money for everyone. Ideally, renaming the team LA attracts more people in the city of Los Angeles, which in turn drives up the price of the Angels media rights. More expensive media rights means more money, more exposure for the Angels, and so on. These are all good things, theoretically. So, from a business standpoint, adding the Los Angeles to the name makes a lot of sense. So why did he add of Anaheim to the end of the name? To answer that, we're going to zoom back to 1997. Disney didn't want to spend a couple hundred million dollars on renovating Anaheim Stadium, which was in need of some upgrades after 30 years in existence. So they struck an agreement with the city of Anaheim, which agreed to pay for the renovations, but only if the name Anaheim remained in the team name. The city and Disney wanted to promote Anaheim as a tourist destination, which is part of the reason Disney owned the team in the first place, so they didn't really have a problem with the team name requirement. They weren't going to change the name back to anything else besides Anaheim Angels. So in order to satisfy the terms of the agreement, Artie Moreno had to include the Anaheim term in the team name. So the team name was completely changed in 2005, disregarding years of tradition and pride for some extra money in the LA market. Understandably, there was a strong backlash against this decision because the team had been in Anaheim since 1966. They had just recently won the World Series as the Anaheim Angels, and most of their fans are in Orange County or the surrounding areas, not Los Angeles. City councils and mayors across the Southern California region voiced their disappointment. The mayors of Irvine, Anaheim, and Los Angeles even adopted formal resolutions opposing the name change. In fact, the Dodgers began buying up billboards around LA to advertise that they actually played baseball in Los Angeles. The mayor of Anaheim and the Anaheim City Council were especially outraged. They claimed that the name change violated the spirit of the agreement. They stated that tacking on the of Anaheim to the end of the name was not advertising the city of Anaheim properly and that the Anaheim part would be left out by the media when describing the team. In fact, they were so outraged by this that they opted to file a lawsuit against the Angels, demanding that they be compensated for the revenue that they would supposedly lose if Anaheim wasn't in the team's name. The case that they filed was called City of Anaheim vs. Angels Baseball LP. The city sued to get money, but not to change the name. The city of Anaheim lost the case not once, but twice, so the name remained and Anaheim got no money at all. The Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim remained with that name until 2015, which is when they officially dropped the name of Anaheim to officially become the Los Angeles Angels. LA was so vehemently opposed to the name change that in addition to their formal resolution they adopted, they also wanted to introduce a bill called the Truth in Sports Advertising Act. LA wanted to ensure that the Angels labeled on all their tickets and on all their advertising that they played in Anaheim, not Los Angeles. Every single billboard would have to state that the Angels played in Anaheim. Their reasoning was that only teams that played in the LA city limits should be allowed to have Los Angeles in their team name. Ironically, the LA Galaxy, which had been playing soccer for years before the Angels changed their name, don't even play in the LA city limits. So under that bill, the Galaxy would have needed to change their name as well. Anyways, the act failed and the Angels remained the LA Angels. Ultimately, the move seemed to have worked out for Artie, as the value of the Angels has skyrocketed from the $184 million he paid for them in 2003 to the $1.9 billion it's worth today. It's unfortunate that the name doesn't represent the area in which the team plays, nor does it represent the area in which most of the fans live. The team is a source of pride for the Orange County community, yet the team is more concerned, or it appears that way, they are more concerned with the Los Angeles media market than the fans. The name likely won't be changed back anytime soon, especially now that the team's media rights and the franchise valuations are so high. 
So Angels fans will have to live with the Los Angeles part of the team name for a long, long time. If you like this video, please feel free to like and subscribe and check out my other videos. Leave a comment with your favorite Angels team name, as well as any suggestions you have for a new team name. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Highly Technical Sports.